All right, this is going to be a real-time cold start on a 71 Cadillac with a 472 with 100,640 miles. A few pumps, and the battery is dead as a doornail. <laughs> So for today's video, we're going to do some basic maintenance. We're going to give the old Cadillac an oil change, and we're going to add some zinc treatment to the oil. As you know, we did a uh, seafoam treatment here a while back, try to minimize our little pinging sound. So uh, I think today we're going to go ahead and drain that seafoam oil out of there and, and uh, put some fresh stuff in there and add some zinc back to it. And uh, we're going to see how well that works for us. So, But, you know, just some general maintenance for today's videos. All right, let's go ahead and fire this old girl up. All right, this is going to be a real-time cold start on a 71 Cadillac with a 472 with 100,640 miles. A few pumps. And the battery is dead as a doornail. I guess I left the interior light on. Well, that's the uh, shortest video I ever did. Appreciate you stopping by the channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to watch me fail again, then, you know, stick around. Where's my charger? All right, so we uh, made our little patch here. Basically just bent up a very small piece of metal on the uh, little Harbor Freight bender we've had. And... Uh, did some clipping and some trimming and some clipping and some trimming and some marking and so on and so forth. And that's what we have. So we'll fill in our little spot right there. All right, so only thing left to do now is I've got it trimmed back that way, but really it needs to follow this line here. So I'm going to get the, uh, the tin snips. I'm going to cut straight back that way. All right, let me mark it and trim it. I'll be right back. All right, we've got our little angle trimmed back there with the tin snips. And we'll place that into position. Whoops, there we go. I had to extend this out a little bit to fill in that little hole right there. Probably need to set my welder on the lowest setting it'll go. Hit this up all around the outside, and then we may do a hole in the middle. Not sure I can get the spot welder in there. We may end up doing a plug weld right there in the middle. Let's get this attack weld going on here. Fire! <laughs> Goodness gracious. Note to self, quit using paper as a protectant while welding. All right, how far did we go? Ah, we just burnt some paper there. All right, so, you know, that's what we, that's what we have the bottle of water for, in case we have a minor emergency. Everybody try to stay calm. I wonder what that's gonna look like on video. That could be rather hilarious. All right, let's continue on. So I'm not going to get too close because I don't want to show you my gnarly welding job. But uh, we've got our patch put in there. Um, we've got the alignment straight with this existing bit here. And we've got our 90 degree or nearly 90 degree angle in there. I had to go back in and fill in a couple of places where there was a hole. You know, this these sheet metal is pretty thin. You can blow through it real easily. So I had to go in back in and be real careful and fill it in and then grind it back off sand it again. So what I need to do is go back and get some of that body filler sealant type stuff that they put in this seam right here. Uh, not the not the, the brazing, but uh, they had some other type of a uh, body filler. I'll have to go look it up on the uh, on the inter internet. I have to go look it up on that air internet and find out what it is. So anyway, and what I'm going to do is maybe trying to fill in whatever little minor cracks and crevices there are left behind from the welding job. Of course, we'll paint over it. And then the top panel goes over over the top of all that mess. My point here is to keep, you know, the water out. That's the main goal. All right, let's move on. 
All right, so we've got a little uh, weld through primer added up to our uh, nice little fix there. Uh, looks pretty good. I'm still gonna put a little filler in there. It's just a precautionary. I think we're sealed up pretty good, but you just never know. Let's move on to today's regularly scheduled maintenance. All right, so let's, uh, let's try this again. I've been charging for about an hour or so. A few pumps. And we're gonna continue to pump. Come on, baby. There we go. All right. Our little battery anomaly is finally cured. So let's let her warm up and charge for a little bit. And then we'll get on with our oil change. All right. Let's back out a little bit and then we'll make room for our ramps. This may not work because this floor is slick. Yeah, I'm almost certain this is not gonna work. Probably gonna need to get some rubber or something underneath these to keep them from sliding. Nope, not gonna happen. Hey, look at that. I found a piece of rubber. All right, so what this is is some, uh, ant some rubber anti-static mat that uh, you find it in the telecom business. I found it in the trash can. I thought, you know what? I can use that. All right, I wonder what that'll do for us. Besides irritate the bursitis in my knee. All right, we'll try that again. Well, that was just about the easiest thing I ever did. Okay. I haven't put a car on ramps in 10 years. Now I remember why I bought a lift. Although the rubber underneath the, the ramps is, uh, man, that worked really well, didn't it? Yeah, motor's nice and hot, so that ought to be real good when we, we take that uh, drain plug out. Got our drain pan. We're going to go with the uh, trendy filter choice this day and age. We're going to go with a Wix. And we're going to go with Valvoline 10W30. And we're going to go with uh, Rizlone engine oil treatment with the, uh, with the zinc stuff in it. Since this car was made before the dawn of time. All right, I don't have to tell you guys how to change oil in a car, I don't think. But, you know, I never actually used to do this when I was growing up. Uh, putting oil in the filter. Maybe that's what was wrong with all my cars that I used to have. But uh, that's what we're gonna do today. Give the oiling system a fighting chance. You know, I think that oil pan looks just fine. It just looks fantastic, to be honest with you. I've never seen a better one. All right, we got an 11 sixteenths on our trusty half inch. Careful. Are we there? Yep, there we go. All right. Yeah, it was time for an oil change, wasn't it, folks? I mean, if you checked it on the dipstick, it actually looked pretty good, but uh, I think the seafoam probably cleaned things up a little bit. All right. Let's uh, go ahead and get our old. Some smart person. Put a Wix filter in it. You know those guys on the internet that always say, or on YouTube, and they say, I always remember to make sure that your gasket from your old filter is not adhered to the engine. This can cause blah, blah, blah. I have never seen that in my, I've been around this world for over half a century. I've never seen that in my life. So just saying, I think it's an urban legend. And uh, you guys comment below if you have seen otherwise. All right, take this off here and get the new filter in. I'm not in an oil pouring competition. I'm just, I'm just not. I just want to change the oil in my car, you know? If you don't have one of these big old honking gargantuan funnels to pour oil in your car, what are you doing? 
you know? We're going with Valvoline, fully synthetic, 10W30. Not gonna worry about pouring every last millimeter out of there. And we're also gonna go with some zinc. This is 11 ounces of uh, this Rhizolone stuff. It says you can, you know, put the whole bottle in for uh, for really old old cars. It's not that's not a whole lot, is it? It's only 11 ounces. We'll just overfill it a little bit. It's not going to hurt anything. Overfilled by 11 ounces is not going to hurt a thing in this world. Cars have feelings too, you know. They like to be pampered too. I just made that up. All right. So we got five quarts of oil and 11 ounces of zinc stuff in there. Let's go ahead and fire her up and uh, get her off the ramps, and then we'll uh, then we'll check the level. All right, let's see where we're at. You know, an under hood light in 1971. You know that that wouldn't have been that extravagant, really. And let's see where we are here. By golly, that oil is so clean I can barely see the level. And she's right there at the top of the full mark. Clean as a whistle, boy. I would have expected it to be a touch higher than the full mark. Let's do that again. Yeah, it is. It's a touch higher. Man, that's pretty. Okay, well, that's a good sign. We got brand new oil and we got some uh, ZDDP in there, whatever that stuff is. Supposedly it's zinc and it's really good for it. So we're gonna go with that for now. And I'm thinking maybe the uh, the sea foam probably uh, cleaned us out a little bit. So, all right, folks, that's all for now. Just a little routine maintenance for a weekend afternoon. Plus, we got a little welding action on the old Mercedes. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video, don't forget to click that little bell down below. You guys have a good one. And remember to enjoy maintaining your classic Cadillac.